pacemaker is a tiny device that they insert in your chest or abdomen region to regulate your heartbeat. A pacemaker works by giving electrical impulses to regulate your heartbeat. First you go to the special room in the pacemaker lab, then a nurse will help you put an IV in your arm or hand. Then you will get an antibiotic. Then the left or right side of the patient's chest will be shaved, and then it will be cleaned with a special soap. Uh, sterile drapes will cover the person from neck to feet, and then a strap will go over the hands and waist of the patient so that they don't come in contact with the sterile area. Common problems that result in needing a pacemaker are, is a heart block, which is when the electrical impulses in your heart are stopped or slowed, keeping your heart from beating properly, or a bradycardia, which is slowed heartbeat. Um, other problems are atrial fibrillation, Juan T syndrome, and Juan T syndrome leads to hazardous arrhythmias in the heart. to replace a pacemaker is usually on the previous scar of the first pacemaker. When a pacemaker needs to be replaced, the battery isn't working or has a wire shortage, and a new one replaces the old one. The procedure only takes about 30 to 45 minutes. Once you have a pacemaker, there's certain things that you shouldn't be around. A couple examples are cell phones or MP3 players. An example is an iPod or iPad. Uh, household appliances like microwave ovens. Uh, high tension wires. Uh, industrial welders. Electrical generators. These devices can uh, mess with your pacemaker and make you go off track. Ongoing care for pacemakers are many doctor's visits to check on the pacemaker, to check for broken wires or dislodged wires, weak or failed battery, progression in heart disease, or electrical signals that have been disturbed. damage to blood vessels and other structures around the heart. If blood vessels are accidentally pierced, bleeding may not be obvious initially. In this case, the blood slowly accumulates, forming a pocket hematoma. The outer lining of the lung may also be punctured during the pacemaker placement. All incisions provide for a possible infection, so getting a pacemaker, you may get an infection. Rarely the pacemaker implantation can cause damage to the heart itself, and in very rare cases, patients may experience heart arrhythmias. Well, activity with a pacemaker. When you have a pacemaker, it shouldn't really affect what kind of activities you do, no matter how strenuous. However, you should talk to your doctor to figure out what is perfect for you and it's different for everybody. Um, it is, it is, uh, recommended that when you have a pacemaker to avoid full contact sports such as football because you don't want to damage the pacemaker or, or loosen any more. You said fair again. Yeah. Our heart block, which is when stop when the electrical start over. <laughs> <laughs> Little girls. Dance.